guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a haul. I did go to Dollar Tree and I picked up a ton of things. This is going to be a pretty big haul. And of course, one of the items that I went to Dollar Tree for, they did not have, um, I'm trying to do a craft and I don't know if it's because summer is almost over and they're starting to bring back to school stuff and like fall stuff out. They just got rid of that garden gate that I need or they just ran out and they never stocked back up. But I am on a hunt for it because I need that for my DIY. And then to the items I did pick up that I needed for another DIY, I actually needed four packs of it. They only had two packs of it. So I honestly went in for specific things and I walked out with things that I did not plan on buying. But I thought I would just share with you guys everything that I purchased this time around at Dollar Tree. Now the first few items I'll share with you guys is from their floral section. Dollar Tree always has so many pretty floral items and I always pick them up from there. So the first item I bought was actually something that I have been on the hunt for. I've seen other people haul these and I could not find them and I finally found them. And they are these little cotton stems and they have acorns on them. I bought four of them and I love them. They all have acorns. They're all like different designs like this one has like that little grass i don't even know what that is called but yeah it has that and then this one has brown ones and then this one has like burgundy ones so i just bought a bunch of different ones and i bought four of them they did have a pretty good selection so i might go back for more i'm not sure but i just grabbed four for now and like i said i really like dollar tree's floral section and i have a few diy crafts that i am planning to do so i did pick up a ton um the only thing that sucks though is i needed a few of these and they only have one left of this fern and I want it like at least four or five of these and they only have one so I was only able to pick up one I'm going to keep on looking around see if I can find any more if I can I will pick them up but if not I guess this will just have to do for my DIY and then I picked up this little lilac one I thought I picked up another one maybe it's somewhere in there but I picked up this lilac one it's really pretty purple color and yeah I just thought it was really pretty so I picked that one up and so then I picked up a few of these cattail ones so I picked up three of them I believe I picked up these three these are like a light lilac purple and this one's like a green color so I picked up three of those and then I picked up one of these it's kind of like this one the lilacs except it's like white and then this part is lilac picked up one of those then I picked up one of these I'm not sure what it's called because it didn't have a tag on it but picked up one of these in white and then since I couldn't find any more of these I picked up this one see if I can like mix it into my DIY this one's called greenery bouquet and then I picked up a ton of flowers as well now they have a ton of fall flowers out and I was really tempted to pick up a lot of them but I'm not sure which ones I already picked up last year. It's all in storage. So once I pull out all of my fall items, I'm going to see what I already have. And then maybe then I'll go back and pick up some fall flowers. But for now, I did not pick up fall flowers just because, like I said, I don't want to buy more if I already have them. But the first few flowers I bought were these dahlias. And I just thought they were such a pretty color to add into my house. I bought a cute little vase that I want to put these in. I'll probably mix in. With a few of the other things that I purchased but I bought let me see three of these and then I just bought one of these peony ones so pretty it's like a hot pink and then yellow inside then I just picked up one of these these hydrangeas and I just thought this was so pretty they only had one if not I would have picked up more but they only had one so that's why I only picked up one of these then I picked up three of these dahlias same thing as these except it's just a different color this one's more of like a beige yellow color but really pretty then I picked up one of these I'm not going to try to pronounce it but that's the name and I don't know why I picked up this one but I did and then I picked up one of the hydrangeas just in a different color this one's more of like a yellowish color yellow like white it's not as neon green as the other one that I picked up like these like these are really green these are more of like a lighter green and those are all of the things I picked up from the floral section yes I know a ton but I'm going to be doing a few DIYs and crafts so 
Hopefully I'll try to film a few of those for you guys to share with you guys. But going on to the next things is going to be this reindeer moss. And this is what I needed for packs up and I could only find two. I did go to another Dollar Tree today and they didn't have any at all. So I was only able to pick up two packs. I need to get two more packs of this. <laughs> And then I've been on a hunt for cute little things for my garden. And I'm telling you, Dollar Tree used to have a ton of them. And I never picked them up because that was before I did my garden. And now that I have a garden, I've been looking and they don't have any. And I found these randomly thrown in an aisle. So this one just says welcome. And then this one is like a little cute hut. So I grabbed these two. If they had more, I would have grabbed some. But these are the only ones that I could find. So I'm going to add this into my garden. Next is going to be this little dry sec floral foam for one of my DIYs. Then I picked up two pack of these command strips. You can never have too many of these. Next is going to be a nightlight. My son wanted another nightlight. He's like terrified of the dark. He doesn't like sleeping in the dark. So we already have a nightlight in his room, but he asked for another one. So he wanted this Paw Patrol one. So I bought it for him. Then I picked up some Ziploc bags. I love buying the Ziploc bags from Dollar Tree. They're Disney. They're so cute. And I use them for his school lunches. And now that summer's out, so we do a lot of picnics. Or when I go to the store, I bring them snacks. So I like to store them in these. And they are Nickelodeon Paw Patrol. So I bought Ryan the Paw Patrol ones. And then I bought some Mickey Mouse ones. And then I also bought Minnie Mouse ones. They also have princess ones. But I already have the princess ones. So that's why I only bought these. And then I also picked up these paper cups to put in the kid's bathroom for when they brush their teeth. So I bought a pack of the Mickey Mouse ones and then a pack of the Frozen ones. And they each come with 36, which I think is a really great deal for only a dollar. I usually buy them from Target and they're more expensive than a dollar. And I'm pretty sure they come with probably the same or even less. And there's no cute designs on it. So I grabbed these two. Next is going to be these cute gift bags. I thought this was so cute. I don't have anything planned to use this for. I don't have any gifts to give out, but I just thought that they were really cute. It came in a pack of two, and this one has lemons, and then this one's just like yellow and green, and I don't know. I always stock up on gift bags because you never know when you have to give a gift to someone, so picked up that. Then I picked up some chalk for the kids. They have enough chalk, but I just thought this was really cute. It's by Crayola, and it's huge, and it's Two different colors on each one so i just picked up a pack of that for the kids then i picked up these led push lights i actually put this in my storage closet underneath my stairs and it worked really well it's super bright and i actually was happy with how it worked out so i went and i grabbed another one i'll probably put this one in madison's closet or ryan's closet i'm not sure then i bought madison this she grabbed it and she was playing with it and she really loved it so i just decided to buy it for her but it lights up so when you hit it it lights up and it's a purple diamond and yeah that is for madison next is going to be these garbage bags that i purchased for the bathrooms we need some garbage bags for the bathroom and this is the smallest size i could find the eight gallon one so that's what i'm going to put in our bathrooms next is going to be some batteries we needed some batteries and then I bought this plastic zip envelope. I wanted to buy this to store a few of Ryan's things that he had from pre-K that I have saved and I just don't want it to get messed up. So I thought I could buy this and put it in here and it can keep it nice and safe like his little pre-K diploma and a few other things. Next is going to be these cleaning cloths and a lot of them are ruined. So we went to Dollar Tree and it started raining and we got soaked on so everything got soaked but yeah I bought three packs of these I really love these I've been using these for a while and I feel like they work just as good as the expensive ones that you buy from any other store so I always stock up on them so I grabbed three more packs of these and this is one of the things that also got soaked when we were leaving Dollar Tree but it's just a burlap ribbon that I'm going to be using for a DIY that I will be doing soon. Hopefully I will film it for you guys, but it's just really pretty burlap. Next is going to be these Canvas Creations by Crayola. I found these and I thought they were so cute for the kids. So I did pick up three. I picked up one for Ryan to do now for a little painting, a little craft for during the day. 
And then I know, I don't know why I'm thinking about Christmas already, but I picked up an extra two, one for Madison and then one for Ryan to put in their stocking. I thought this would be a really great stocking stuffer for a dollar little canvas that they can paint. So I'm gonna put one of these in their stockings. Next is going to be just this cabinet shelf. I wanted to put this in the kids cabinet where I store all of their plates. So I wanted to put like their bowls on top and then their plates underneath because right now it's very unorganized. So I thought I could just throw that in their cabinet. Next is going to be birthday candles. My husband's birthday is actually today, but he had to leave town for a few days for work. So when he gets back, we are going to celebrate his birthday and cut a cake. So I bought some candles to put on his birthday cake. Next is going to be this just pretend dress up fun little tutu skirt. So it is Halloween, but Halloween will be coming up soon. So I thought this would be really cute to put on Madison and maybe I can just put some leggings underneath. I did buy her one last year and it was like all orange, I believe with like gold polka dots and it looked so cute on her. So I grabbed this one. Next is going to be this willow wreath. I was actually looking for a foam wreath, but they didn't have any foam ones. So I just grabbed the little willow one. And then the last few things is going to be all picture frames. And I picked up these 11 by 14 picture frames and I picked up six of them. Like I said, I am planning on doing a DIY with these and I need that garden gate, but I cannot find it. Hopefully I can find it soon because I really want to get this DIY done, but without that garden gate, I can't. So I did buy six of these for that DIY and they are silver, but I do plan on changing it. So you guys will see if I do do that DIY, you'll see how it turns out, but I bought six of these. So that was the last item that I purchased from Dollar Tree. I did get distracted and I was just tossing things into my cart and things can always add up in Dollar Tree. I always throw a ton of things in my cart because I think I'm at the Dollar Tree and it's not going to be expensive. And then I go to check out and they tell me my bill and I can't believe that I even spent that much at a dollar store. But so yeah, those are all the items I purchased from Dollar Tree. Keep an eye out for my DIYs. I might have one of the DIYs up before this haul. If not, then definitely look out for them because I will be filming all the DIYs that I plan on doing with half of the stuff that I purchased from this haul. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe to my channel and also turn on your notification bell so you will be notified anytime I upload a video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.